Hello, welcome to our、uh, podcast. This I'm is, your host Ungu. It's not a podcast, really, is it? It's just a talking video. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right,、um, welcome to our talk show. I'm your host Ungu. Please stop talking like that. <laughs> We've been recording for three. Let's just、already. say hi first, properly. Let me say, hi. No, not you. <laughs> Let me say. Okay. Hi, welcome to our um up、uh, not podcast. No. <laughs> Just bit my. Did、fit. he bite you? Hi, welcome <laughs> to SBK Talk Show. I'm your host Ungu, and I'm here with. Is that my name? Just. So um, you can introduce yourself. I'm Bex. Yes. I'm not gonna put on a. Oh, and this is Dobby. Say hi、Ow. to the cam. Do you have anything? Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. So we're gonna talk about is how we met. Yeah. So should I start or do you? Yeah, you, start? You, you, can, you go first. Um. Okay. So actually, I've told this story loads of times already because every time one of my students or、uh, a co-teacher learned that I had a boyfriend here,、hmm. he, they would always be like, "How did you meet? Is he Korean?" And、mm. if I said yeah, he's Korean, they'd be like, oh my god, or just a lot of random、hmm. <laughs> questions. Yeah. What kind of question was、mm. that? Like first question was、normally. always, is he Korean?、Mm. But it was never second, actually was that like, good is English. He Chinese. Yeah. Japanese. Vietnamese. Thai. Indian. Are you done?、Mm, yeah. Do you have any more? No. Okay. Well, yeah. So. Because of the limitation of my knowledge. Yeah. Anyway. No. Just go ahead. Anyway.、Mm. So. So many questions. We met. When did we?、Oh, I keep getting blinded by these lights. When did we meet? Over a year ago now, because obviously they know、mm. that because they swapped it. Most of the people who、September、watch this will have seen、sevens. the proposal video. Yeah. Well, that was when we. Started talking, right? Yes. So that that was the the first day we met. Yeah. Actually, was it? Yes. Wait, when did we start? Oh no, we started talking、September. August thirtieth. Yes, right. I right. think because、mm. I have the Tinder messages still. Oh yeah. That kind of、mm. gives away a lot of it. So yeah, we met on Tinder actually. Mm. Mm. Um, because I recall very clearly when I first came here, because. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm an English teacher here, which is quite a when did you come to Korea?、Thing. I came to Korea in for the first time. Is it like a talk show and you're the host and I'm the guest <laughs> and you're interviewing me? <laughs> so I came to Korea on August seventeen. No, eighteenth, which is a G Dragon's、oh. birthday. G Dragon's birthday. Okay, but I left the UK on the seventeenth. Why do we have to have this argument every time? <laughs> So I left England on、mm. August seventeenth, two thousand nineteen. Arrived in Korea August eighteenth, two thousand nineteen. Started learning how like, I did a teacher training program with a bunch of other foreign people. For those of you that have seen our video about the tongue twister thing with Jin and Hattie,、mm. that's how I met Hattie because、um, we trained to be teachers together in a small like school program thing in Unso.、Mm. So. I wasn't actually friends with her at that point, though. We didn't become friends until later on, but it's not the point of this video. So, when I was learning to be a teacher, a couple weeks in, a bunch of my fellow students started to show some interest in Korean Tinder,、hmm. um, and an interesting place it was indeed. <laughs> There was a lot of questionable people on there. But I was kind of like I was only planning to be here for like a year, so and I was only going to be in Incheon for like a month. So my thinking was, if I meet up with someone and they turn out to be a creep or a weirdo, I can just ghost them, and then I'm moving away from Incheon at the end of the month anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. So a bunch of us like started talking to some guys or girls on Tinder, and. I remember the night I talked to you. 
I was going out to mm. a club mm. with my friends. And actually that was the first night I hung out with Hattie, coincidentally. Oh, yeah. mm. So well, it was for this other girl who was in the teacher training course's birthday. And I remember texting you on Tinder and being like, it's really late, I'm really drunk, but I want to go home. Mm. <laughs> and then I think actually I asked you to come and you were like, mm, maybe next time. Yes, um, I was like, um, I wanted to, um, I, I always want to go to the club, but I don't have a friend to hang out. Yeah, you, I remember you yeah, saying that to I me said. on our first yes. date. Yes. But, mm, yeah, see, the thing is... <laughs> there was a joke, this, I have a friend. This, no he doesn't. This, this sounds terrible. I know. But actually, like the messaging part of it is all quite a bit foggy for me because mm. there were <laughs> quite mm. a few <laughs> different guys yeah. that I talked to on like Tinder. Because yeah. for anyone who has been to Korea, you will know. Um, as a foreigner in Korea, you're kind of popular. Foreign girl. Foreign girl yes. in Korea. You're to kind of specific. popular on Tinder with foreign guys who are looking for just hookups. Mm. Some of them are looking for dates, like this guy. Well, actually, no, you weren't looking for dates. We'll get into that later. Mm. And But a lot of them are just looking for hookups. So a lot of them will have like uh, FWB. Friends which, with benefits. Yeah, if you didn't know, stands for friends with benefits. Like as their name mm. <laughs> on Tinder. So I remember one actually had his BDSM mm. test results as his profile picture rather than his face. And I didn't realize until I like read the Korean and worked out the Konglish and was like, oh, <laughs> and it made me laugh quite a lot. Um, but happened to come across this guy. Mm. And we actually, we didn't talk on Tinder for that long. We, um, yeah, I asked your um, Kakao Talk. Yeah, account. we went straight to and, Kakao Talk. Because yeah. at the time, I wasn't like we wary a lot of Kakao Talk. dudes on Kakao and what they're like mm -hmm. and what their intentions are on yeah. Kakao. So I was just giving my Kakao out to people who I hadn't met, which was really stupid. You shouldn't do that if you're in Korea. You should be more careful of your Kakao ID. Um, and then we started talking. We were texting pretty much every day. Yes. For like mm. a week before I feel like we actually met. We've been texting all the time. Yeah. Yeah. What even now? Yes. Mm. No, it's true. But yeah. So we texted for a while, mm. and you should tell it from your side. Anyway. Yes. Um. Um. My side. Um. Maybe like for the record, I'm a Korean teacher. I've been teaching Korean pe Korean to people from all over the world. So. Um, last year, last summer, I was struggling because um, it's hard to get like a new student. So the reason why I, I started to Tinder is to, I was just trying to find a new student because there is a lot of foreigners there on the app. So that's why I started to Tinder. And that's true. That's true. <laughs> I used to live um, with uh, Rumi from Malaysia and she recommended that I need to um, try to find the students on mm -hmm. Tinder because there's like a bunch of foreigners on the app and she used to use Tinder a lot. Yes, so that's why I started the Tinder and found her by accident. That's how we started and that's how we met. T. Hmm? Why? <laughs> Tis. What was that for? <laughs> So basically what you're saying is you were looking for students. Yes. But that's you why saw me and you were like oh, oh, and had to Yeah, that's why I at the time them. I I write down uh, something like uh, if you're interested in like a Korean lesson, just let me know and feel free to contact or something on my profile. I don't remember seeing anything description. Like that. Hmm? I don't remember seeing anything like that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I what? vaguely remember you having something written about being a teacher. Hmm. But and to be honest, I didn't really pay attention that much to yeah. the, mm. the, the description, yes. the, the profile. Mm. I just looked at the pictures because yeah. that's kind of what Tinder's about. Mm. Anyway, um, um, we can talk about um, the our first date or like after that. How awkward it was. Yes. And the first, first thoughts. 
Mm. First impression.、Mm. I remember you telling me about what your first impression was, and then changing it a few months later. What do you mean? Well, because when we had this conversation the first time,、mm. like, what did you think first、mm. when you first saw me? The first time you said to me. You were like, "Wow, she's so pretty." Was your first thought? Yes. And then when we talked about it again,、mm. you were like, "My first thought was, 'Oh my God, she's so pale.'" <laughs> oh, it's it's kind of same in like a Korean sense, cause like a in terms of like a K beauty, we、um, consider those kind of like a white thing as like a you no know, the white color, like a bright skin tone, as like a the typical beauty standard. Not like a white, but like we have like a Asian beauty standard. But、yeah. we can just we used to、um, consider this kind of like a bright skin tone as like a the beauty standard here. So it's、mm. kind of like the same things in like、mm. a Korean sense.、Mm. I think maybe let's not, into, let's not get into that. <laughs> <Yeah> . <laughs> I think that's a whole other can of worms.、Mm. Um, but. Yeah. My first thought,、mm. which I've been consistent with since the beginning, is, "Oh my God, thank God he's taller than me." Because <laughs>、yes. the thing was, like, before we even met up the first time,、mm. which I, I guess was a date, although kind, we never said、yes. it was a date.、Um, first meeting, maybe. Before we even met up the first time, we were like super, like disgustingly flirtatious with each other through text, which I feel like you don't actually remember, but I definitely、yeah. remember.、Um, and basically, already told each other that we liked each other,、mm. right? Before we even met up, we were we we like met up, and while we were hanging out in Hongdae. Yes. You were like,、oh, I'm going、mm. to Guam for a、mm. week, and I was like, Why? <laughs>、mm. It was just so random. Yes. Because from my perspective,、mm. I was like, Wow, I actually went on a date with a guy, and I actually still like him after the date has happened. So for once, because that's very rare for me. Usually, I'll go on a date like being interested in someone, and then completely lose interest after the date. Mm. I was like, "This is the first time this has actually happened," and he's just clearing off to Guam. And at the time, I didn't even know where <laughs> Guam was.、Mm. And I literally, I remember, I went home, back to the hotel that we all stayed in, and we all had roommates. And my roommate was this girl named Q. And I remember walking into the room, and being like, and she was like in there with a couple of these guys who we were friends with, and sat down on on her bed with her. Because this guy was in my bed. Remember, I remember you remember、yeah. me telling you about、yeah. that. Being on that shoes. Yeah, this obnoxious、yeah. dude was in my bed.、Um, so I sat down on her bed with her, and she was like, "So how was the day?" You mean they knew where Guam is? Yeah, she's American.、Oh, yeah. They were both yeah, American. American yeah. yeah, but at the time, I had no clue about Guam. I、yeah. think I'd heard of it before, like once or twice. So、mm. it was like vaguely familiar,、mm. but. I didn't really know much about it,、mm. and then of course, after you got back from Guam,、mm. I then had to go to Fukuoka. Yes, for the extension of your visa. Well, no, so I could go from a tourist visa to an E two visa,、uh, which an E two visa is the visa you need to be able to teach in Korea、mm. um, a language.、Mm. It's the education visa specifically. So basically.、Um, As a matter of fact, I need to go to Guam with my、um, family, and my my sister's family for their family vacation, and you need to go to, to Japan for your visa wise.、Mm. So yeah, it's kind of so、mm. literally, you came back from Guam、mm. on the day that、mm. I left for Fukuoka. Oh yeah, which really is like no, wait a, bit, a really a weird、yes. coincidence.、Mm. Oh yeah, and then while he was in Guam, he said he was gonna friend zone me. Yeah, because <laughs> he was being a bitch baby. No, just it made me so angry. Yeah, I just wanted to be like um um like slower or like a prudent. Yeah. So you told to me you were gonna to friend zone me. Yes,、That's、as a、bullshit. friend, we can just hang out with、no. your friends to get to know each other no. properly. No, no. Friend zone implies.、Classy. That you just want to be friends with me. Yeah.、Um, That's yeah. the implication of that. 
Yeah, but and I was so angry. Mm. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck, man?" <laughs> yeah, but、um, I didn't know that because I didn't know the worst things. Because obviously, English is not my first language, so I was just like, "Be friends first, or no, just... no, no, no." <laughs> Yeah, as time、no, goes by, no, we're no, getting close, no, and no, we can just no, 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 think no. something else. No, that's not what you said, though. You、Sex. said、no. I'm. You said my mom might watch this. You said、yeah, I'm gonna friend zone you because I don't want to get hurt. Holding hands. That's what you said. You were like, I'm gonna friend zone you so I don't get hurt.、Mm. And、yeah. I was like, "This douchebag." I don't remember. Is gonna make me catch、properly. feelings and then tell me he's gonna friend zone me, even though he's told me he likes me too.、Mm. I wanted to punch you. I was like, "Don't come back from Guam. Just stay in Guam yes. forever."、Mm. We have original people there. Yeah. Yeah. Like who? 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 You should tell about after、mm. you came back from Guam.、It、went back to the international airport, so. We met up around the Unsa station, right? <laughs> you can see in the camera his head going like this because your hands are going like this, and he's、mm. watching. Sorry, continue. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we met up around the Unsa、mm. station,、mm. right, in Incheon. Yeah. Because um and um at the cafe we met up at the cafe and mega coffee yeah mega coffee which is a cheapest French high <laughs> wine one here and um、uh, we talked a lot and I gave her a tiger doll from Guam as a souvenir maybe we should post a picture oh yeah I still have it but I don't want to wake、mm. Dobby up to go get it yes it's in our bedroom、mm. anyway there was a gift for yes. Yeah, it was cute.、Process. It、yes. also almost got me.、Uh, it got me drug searched、mm. in in China Airport <laughs> because it's it has like it looks shady. It has beans in it. It has like stuffing beans in it, like a bean bag. And when I went through security, and the guy speaking in Korean, obviously,、mm. and none of us could speak Korean, so none of us could ask him what was going on.、Mm. He just like picked it up and was like. Poking it、oh. and then took it off and I was like, eh. So I just stood there waiting for this tiger to come back、mm. and then he comes back and I hold it. He gives it to me and I hold it and I'm just like, ah, because、mm. I feel the beans. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was just like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> he thought I had drugs in it.、Mm. Oh, he could have got cut open. Most of it, I was thinking, oh my god,、mm. what would I tell you? Mm. If this tiger got cut open, you only just gave it to me. Yeah, and it got cut open at Incheon Airport.、Mm, I, I would be sad, but also by the fact that my gift was, was broken. It wouldn't have been my fault though, because、mm. yeah. he thought I, yeah, he thought I was smuggling drugs in it. Yeah, who's gonna smuggle drugs in a teddy bear in this day and age? Because you're such a like basic a、way. smuggler. You don't want to look like a yakuza. Um, we talked a lot, like I said, and I asked her to、um, go out. Yeah.、Mm. To be. Yes. Your girlfriend. Yes. In mega coffee. Hmm. And then I wanted him to hold my hand, and, and she put... was just like, "Yes, yeah." You just woke the wheel.、Yeah. I'm super shy usually. Yeah. But I managed to work up the nerve to ask him to hold my hand because I wanted him to.、Mm. I put my hand on the table and he refused to hold my hand.、Mm. But then you were like, "Cause my hand's too sweaty." Because、mm. <laughs> I was nervous. I remembered just now. Actually, you already asked me to be your girlfriend before that, and I was like,、yes. "You need to ask me in person." Yes. He asked、From、through texting,、yes. like a little bitch, and I was like, "No, ask me in person." Yeah. But hold. Yes. That's why I ask in、mm. person at the cafe. Mm. Mm. And, and then, then like, <laughs> <laughs> didn't your flight from Guam get in quite early though?、Uh, yeah. So what did、yeah. you actually do? I stayed inside of the 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 airport for a few hours with the tiger. So you just sat in the airport for、yeah. a few hours waiting. Yeah, wasn't too long. Just like two couple of hours, I think. That's quite long. Yeah, but yeah. you waited two hours in the in Incheon Airport. Yeah, but I I I live in、uh, Hongdae area, so if I get back to my place and it's 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 such a time waste. So 
just I need to wait for like a couple of hours with Tiger and all I all eyes on on me. I kind of suspected that you, you you waited in the airport for a while, but yeah, because I was talking to uh, my friends about it on the flight to Fukuoka, and I was like, mm. wait, if I work it out, he must have been waiting in that airport for a couple hours to come and meet me. Mm. But it's yeah. you admitting to it, yes. So mm. that's that's more sweet. interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's sweet. You should have said something like, oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Anyway, that's how I met. Yeah. How I met your mother. How many kids do we have? So at a cafe, um, I asked her to be my girlfriend, like officially, like exclusive yeah. way. <laughs> so um, she said yes, and that's how we went. Nearly a year and a month ago mm. was that day. Yes. Because that was on September mm. 17th. Yeah, maybe. 15th? 15th. 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 Yes, 15th. September 15th. I'm so bad at remembering yeah. dates. But no, it's your birthday that's the 17th and our anniversary is the 15th. Yeah, it's funny because mm. when when you asked me out in the mega mm. coffee, that was yeah. also when you learned about going here. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Mm, right, you gotta uh, mention about the Kwonyang part. Yeah, well, the thing was, relationships. we live together now, mm. but before that, because I, uh, last year. we oh, started going out and then I went to Fukuoka to get my visa. And then I was there for a week because that's how long the visa processing takes. And uh, some of my friends who I went with, they stayed in Fukuoka. But me and Hattie, from Jin and Hattie, we both went back to Korea because, <laughs> well, actually, basically just because we were the ones that had boyfriends in Korea that we wanted to be able to spend time with. Mm. Thanks, Dobby. Yeah. We both had people that we wanted to see in Korea before we had to go to our jobs. So anyway. me and Hattie both went back and we hung out. So yeah, and I stayed in a little crappy Airbnb in Hongdae for for maybe eight days. Mm. Um, Cause we wanted to spend time together before I had to move to Gwangyang, which is like way south in Korea. Literally, it's like at the edge of the Korean peninsula. I didn't even know that exists. It's maybe it's probably about as south as you can get in Korea without going into Jeju. Oh yeah. So coastal, basically south yeah. coastal. Mm. Um, takes four hours to get there by bus. So that's why in some of our other videos we complain about LDR because mm. we were we live together now, but for the last year we've been long distance. Mm. Um, because obviously he was still living in Seoul by himself or with a roomie and yeah. I was living in Guangyang. Mm. I finished my contract at my school in Guangyang in September and we moved in together after that. Mm. And also because he popped in mm. the question. For the record, um, for your information, when I asked her to be my girlfriend, in the first place and I didn't realize the fact that I fact that she need to go to <laughs> move to Kwangyang. Would you not have asked then if, if you knew I was going to Kwangyang? I wanted to ask anyway. It's good to go out anyway. Regardless of the fact that you need to move to Kwangyang. But as a result, um, that's how we um, start our long distance relationship. And wasn't it easy? No, it wasn't. Yeah. It really wasn't. Yeah. Long distance is hard. We were struggling a lot. It didn't feel like long distance mm. that much because we did see each other pretty much every weekend. Yes. But kept, yeah, kept moving back and forth. Yeah, it like was exhausting. Every weekend or something. Yeah. I think long distance can work, but you both have to be willing to put the effort in. Yeah. And same with Debaution. our kind of relationship, to yeah. be honest. Because mm. I think mm, this is probably a good segue for that, actually. Mm. There's a lot of people that romanticize mm. uh, mixed 
culture, multicultural <laughs> relationships. Let's just say international couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people who so romanticize that, but actually, I think in a lot of ways, it's kind of more difficult、mm. than a regular. Yeah, definitely. Relationship. What do you mean, definitely? Because of you know the because of the cultural difference. Are you saying I'm hard to no, be in a relationship? No, it's just generally in general because <laughs> of the, the the huge cultural differences、yeah. and language barriers. Yeah, probably、such. if it was like two English speaking、mm. people, like、mm. if you were American,、mm. there'd probably be some differences, but it wouldn't be quite as bad. But because、um, English isn't your first language either.、Mm. Kind of means that the word sense for some stuff、mm. isn't the same for you as it is for me.、Um, but also, just we've both been brought up very differently, and the longer I spend with you, <laughs> the more I realize how different、mm. our upbringing has been. Yes, because well, just just in general,、mm. also. Because I feel like I have more、mm. house-related skills、mm. than you do, but then maybe that's just because I'm a woman and you're a man.、Mm. Anyway,、yeah. a lot of differences. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of different stuff. Between us, and、mm. yeah. <laughs> if we were different people, our relationship wouldn't have lasted this long.、Mm. Which obviously, but like, because we're both very calm and、mm. good at talking things over when we have an issue.、Mm. And obviously that isn't always the case. Thank you, Dobby. That isn't always the case, but for the most part, we're good at having a good conversation、mm. to resolve. Yes.、Mm. So usually we're pr- we're pretty good. Yeah, I I th- I feel that every time we have、uh, sort of like issues, and we always try to find、um, the solution having conversation,、mm. like the for the proper communication, I think. Mm. So that that would be the key, I think, yeah. In terms of like the the relationship. I mean, we've been together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we've. <laughs> I think um yeah. Let's just.、Finish. We've been together over a year now,、mm. and never had like a screaming match argument. Yeah. Like I've had those with family, so I have had those before, and I'm sure you have before. Yeah, of course. But we've never had one together.、Mm. Mm. Dobby. I think we need to finish. I think someone's getting impatient. Yeah, Dobby's getting like being needy. He's not had enough attention today. As hell. Anyway,、um, it was just like a long journey, and this is how we are now. We're living together in、yeah. our cozy place. Yeah, with so, our cat. Yeah. He needs to get his balls cut off so he calms down. <laughs> He's just think, screaming、um, at you. Yeah, let's just finish the talking, and also I got, pee as well. You got anything else to say, Dobby? Do you have anything to say? Yeah, I'm waiting for Dobby. You done, Dobby? Well, that's it.、Um, if you have any question, you can just ask me. No, ask us on the comments. Yeah, we try and respond to、mm. most of the yes the every comments yes. Yeah, for, for the most part, so far we're、mm. pretty good at that. Yeah. Thanks for all the support on the proposal video as well. Yes. Okay, let's go down now. Goodbye. If you have any questions, you can just ask us anything. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's licking my arm. So yeah, please leave a comment, subscribe. We're gonna try and post more often now that we're living together and we actually can. Yeah. Um and. And we need some money. <laughs> don't don't leave that in. Yeah. Okay. Um. You can leave a comment down below, and maybe we'll make an episode about it. Yeah. Hopefully, this video will be a lot shorter、mm. when after editing. Yes. Because it's too long. This is, this is like a long video. Yeah. And my eyeliner is pretty. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is it for today, and I need to pee, so we gotta finish it. Yeah. Bye, Dobby. And bye. We gotta say bye. bye to people. Bye. Bye. bye.